in this presentation you are going to learn all about NASA let's start NASA stands for National Aeronautics and Space Administration NASA is a national space agency of the United States that works under the US federal government and is responsible for civil space research aeronautics research and space programs NASA has led most American space exploration since founded including Project Mercury, Project Gemini, the Apollo moon landing missions, the Skylab space station and the space shuttle. NASA supports the International Space Station and oversees the development of the Orion spacecraft and the space launch system for the crewed lunar Artemis program. Commercial crew spacecraft and the planned Lunar Gateway Space Station. The agency has a diverse workforce of about 18,000 civil servants. It works with many more U.S. contractors, academia, and international and commercial partners to explore, discover, and expand knowledge for the benefit of humanity. NASA supports more than 312,000 jobs across the United States. NASA was established on 29 July 1958 and succeeded the National Advisory Committee for Aeronautics, NACA, founded in 1915. In the early 1950s, launching an artificial satellite for the International Geophysical Year 1957-1958 was challenging. An effort for this was American project Vanguard. When the Soviet Union launched the world's first artificial satellite Sputnik 1 on October 4, 1957, the attention of the United States turned toward its own fledgling space programs led by NACA. The U.S. Congress, alarmed by the perceived threat to national security and technological leadership, and urged immediate and swift action. The result was a consensus that the White House forged among key interest groups. On July 29, 1958, President Eisenhower signed the National Aeronautics and Space Act, establishing NASA. When it began operations on October 1, 1958, NASA absorbed the 43-year-old NACA and its all 8,000 employees and an annual budget of US dollar 100 million. Three major research laboratories, Langley Aeronautical Laboratory, Ames Aeronautical Laboratory, and Lewis Flight Propulsion Laboratory, and two small test facilities. The significant contributor to NASA's entry into the space race with the Soviet Union was the technology from the German rocket program led by the Warner von Braun. In December 1958, NASA also gained control of the Jet Propulsion Laboratory, a contractor facility operated by the California Institute of Technology. Headquarters The headquarters of NASA is situated in Washington, D.C., United States of America. Motto of NASA is exploring the secrets of the universe for the benefit of all. Let's move on. Objectives The NASA studies Earth, including its climate, sun, solar system, and beyond. It conducts research, testing, and development of advanced aeronautics, including electric propulsion and supersonic flight. It develops and funds space technologies that will enable future exploration and benefit life on Earth. Primary Spaceports of NASA John F. Kennedy Space Center It is located on Merritt Island, Florida and since December 1968, Kennedy Space Center has been NASA's primary launch center of human spaceflight. Second is Cape Canaveral Space Force Station it is an installation of the United States Space Force located on Cape Canaveral in Brevard County, Florida. Third is Vandenberg Space Force Base. It is the United States Space Force Base in Santa Barbara County, California. Centers and Facilities of NASA Ames Research Center, located in the heart of California's Silicon Valley, they works on IT, fundamental aeronautics, bio and space science technologies. Second is Armstrong Flight Research Center, located in Edwards, California, in the western Mojave Desert. They work on flight research. Third is Glenn Research Center, 
located in Cleveland, Ohio. They work on aeropropulsion and communications technologies. Fourth is Goddard Space Flight Center, located in Greenbelt, Maryland. They work on Earth, solar system, and universe observations and space communications and navigation. Fifth is Jet Propulsion Laboratory, located in Pasadena, California. They work on robotic exploration of the solar system and Earth observations. Sixth is Johnson Space Center, located in Houston. They work on human space exploration. Seventh is Kennedy Space Center, located in Merritt Island, Florida. They prepare and launch missions around the Earth and beyond. Eighth is Langley Research Center, located in Hampton, Virginia. They work on aviation, space technology, and Earth science. Ninth is Marshall Space Flight Center, located in Huntsville, Alabama. They work on space transportation and propulsion technologies. Tenth is Stennis Space Center, located in South Mississippi. They work on rocket propulsion testing and remote sensing technology. Eleventh is Goddard Institute for Space Studies, located in Columbia University in New York City, the study of global climate change. Twelfth is Katherine Johnson Independent Verification and Validation Facility, located in West Virginia. They work on safety and cost effectiveness for mission-critical software. Thirteenth is Misud Assembly Facility, located in New Orleans. They work on manufacturing and assembly of critical hardware and exploration vehicles. Fourteenth facility is NASA Engineering and Safety Center, located in Hampton, Virginia. They work on independent testing, analysis, and assessments of NASA's high-risk projects. Fifteenth is NASA Safety Center, located in Cleveland, Ohio. They work on development of personal processes and tools needed for the safe and successful achievement of the strategic goals. Sixteenth is NASA Shared Services Center, located in South Mississippi. They work on financial management, human resources, information technology, and procurement. And last, seventeenth is Wallops Flight Facility, located in Virginia. They work on suborbital research programs. Collaboration with other space agencies in the world. The NASA's collaboration with the European Space Agency (ESA). The both agencies have developed joint missions in areas including heliophysics and astronomy. They also continue to advance cooperation in relation to Earth science, including climate change with agreements to cooperate on various other missions including the Sentinel-6 series of aircraft. Under the Artemis Gateway Partnership, ESA will contribute habitation and refueling modules along with enhanced lunar communications to the Gateway. The collaboration with Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency, JAXA, under the Artemis Gateway Partnership, JAXA will contribute to the gateway control and life support system, batteries, thermal control, and imagery components, which will be integrated into the module by the European Space Agency, ESA, prior to launch. JAXA and NASA have also collaborated on different satellite programs in areas of Earth science. NASA's collaboration with the Russian Space Agency, Roscosmos, NASA and Roscosmos started cooperation for International Space Station in September 1993. Both agencies have used each other's launch systems to deliver station elements to orbit. Astronauts and cosmonauts jointly maintain various elements of the International Space Station. NASA's collaboration with Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO, in September 2014, NASA and ISRO collaborated to launch a joint radar mission named NASA ISO Synthetic Aperture Radar Mission. In short, it's called NISAR. The mission is scheduled to launch in 2024. Wolf Amendment The Wolf Amendment is a law passed by the United States Congress in 2011 and named after the United States Representative Frank Wolf. 
It prevents NASA from engaging in direct bilateral cooperation with the Chinese government and China affiliated organizations from its activities without explicit authorization from the FBI and the US Congress. The law has been renewed annually since. That's it for now. We will come back with a different topic till then keep watching Narvi Academy.